An often overlooked element to educating students with learning differences is athletics and fitness. Beyond the physical benefits, sports cultivate social skills, teamwork, and a sense of belonging. We stop by the new community school in Richmond, Virginia, a school for students who are challenged by dyslexia and related learning differences, to find out more about why they've invested in a top-notch athletic and fitness program. We spent 10 years building a program that would best prepare them for college while keep working on their skills and advocacy skills, strengthening their strengths, and building out all the programs that the other independent schools here in town had. So they felt like we were a real school. When we got here, you didn't see a lot of sportswear um, with our sabers on it through town, but now you do. And I brought on Eric Gobble nine years ago to build the health and wellness program and athletic program that these kids deserve. And now, this fall, we have eight teams, just like a school across town with 500 students. We have 229 students. But our philosophy is, if you want to play a sport, we will make a team for you. The rates of things like anxiety and depression are, are so high across every school in the country. But we know uh, that students at LD schools have often an even higher rate of those kinds of things. And so giving them the tools to handle those aspects, to help them to be better people and help them to be better students. As the students discover their athletic abilities, many are finding that the programs help build self-confidence and resilience in an inclusive environment that evens the playing field. I wasn't like really looking to play volleyball, but then when I heard about like our volleyball team and stuff and like the relationships that people made, I, I was so excited to start playing. I started athletics here, uh, which helped me spread out and make new friends uh, who people I wouldn't really talk to to begin with um, and that also helped me in the classroom to kind of voice more um, instead of sitting back. With like ADHD kids need a release of energy they're always wanting to move so having sports at the end of the day gives them a time and place to go and release. People might think that they're different and sports is a way for them to feel like they're in a group and feel normal. Overall, the addition of the athletic program has improved not only the student's experience, but ultimately aids in the development of the entire child inside and outside the classroom. Something that I love about the school now is, is the culture that we build. Um, I think everybody here uh, generally thrives um, in an atmosphere where um, mistakes are encouraged and where everybody is willing to help each other and lift each other up. They take that confidence back to the classroom. They take that confidence to college and out into the world. And sports at an LD school adds that confidence element. I think they understand that this school not just helps them with their reading, writing, and their math. This school can really help them be their very best self and ready for their next chapter. Speaking of the next chapter, we stopped by Beacon College in Leesburg, Florida, the nation's first accredited college offering four-year degrees designed around the needs of students with diagnosed learning differences. Head basketball coach and former NBA player Sam Vincent is in his second year coaching and has already helped catapult the school's athletics department to the next level. The focus for me is, is really a lot of positive reinforcement. Uh, sometimes they've been told, no, you can't do this or no, you can't do that. We try to stay away from that. Yes, you can. Uh, we want to be positive. We want to give them opportunities um, to grow. And so what I know is um, from being on the court and the, the, the curriculum that we create on the court, it forces them to be challenged. Uh, and then we communicate positively with a lot of reinforcement. Uh, so they leave feeling tired, energized, uh, but like they've made progress. And that's the most important thing. We're not, we're not concerned about anything other than making progress. And so by the end of the year, we had kids that were um, much stronger with their communication skills. Uh, they felt a lot more confident. Their self-esteem was higher. Uh, their punctuality at class in, improved. Uh, and they were just easier to be around. So, so we, we valued that as progress, uh, regardless of what was happening on the scoreboard. Uh, we felt that individual progress with each player took place. 
This fall, Beacon College was admitted into the United States College Athletic Association, giving even more opportunities for students with learning differences. It puts us on the map almost because it gives um, also like kids in, around the country um, an idea that they can still go to college and still play basketball and still get their academics straight. Sports can obviously be a great way to bond together people and sometimes you might be on a team that you you know you might not like somebody or you don't uh, you don't agree with the way they do things but it's important to learn how to work together because that's how it is in the real world so that's really what basketball does it, it gets you ready for the world world I feel like that's what it's done for me it's a firm belief that I have that there's a large population globally of these kids who just need an opportunity so to be at Beacon uh, and be the leader in the U.S. and providing these opportunities for kids who are neurodiverse. It's just an exciting mission for me. With a world of difference, I'm Cindy Peterson.